In this video, I want to demonstrate how uh, a video is uh, that I put into the panorama uh, will slide down from the top into the center of the screen and the background should go blurry. Uh, I have only taken the uh, taken the video and dropped it into the panorama, uh, s put it into the center here, and used the one uh, uh, one button solution for playing. Um, let's see here, video player. It is the uh, one button thing that you will click here, and the video size has been set to 600 by 400. So. Uh, what I will start with is to move the pi move the video out of view. Uh, this is the video here. First, select that, and this is the the y-axis for the video. I will put it at let's see. at minus seven hundred. Seven hundred, and that moves it out of the view and would be away for most screen sizes. It could be put at one thousand or fifteen hundred away uh, on the over over the over the center. Uh, now I will start uh, functions recording, and that I will do here. Functions, make another function, and start recording. I go back to the hotspots. I have the video file selected here, and I will move this to zero, meaning it will come back to the center. Now I stop the recording, and the video goes up again. I'll call this function video move. This is the function, and I want the function to take one second, that's 1000 milliseconds, uh, uh, to move the video down. This should happen on on-click, when, uh, when the button is clicked here, and I select this button now, this is the play button, and I finish. Uh, make a reload there. This here is video move that was just, this is the function that was, was just made. I will remove it from here, so I can delete on the keyboard. And this is the part of the function, you have, we have four parts here. This part, which is one, uh, this is uh, that ma uh, what makes the video go down. So I select that and attach it to the play button here. This is the stop button the opposite of this one, select that one, and I move the video move to, which is the retraction of the video that makes it go up, and attach it to it. Now I will reload, and when I hit, or cl click on the button, the video will slide down and start to play, and then it disappears when I click on stop. Now I just need to have the blur and that again use the functions, make another function, record, go to the filters, I select for the panorama, normally it is hotspots, uh, select the panorama because I want the panorama to go blurry, select this one that makes both X and Y axis on the panor uh, panor blur, something like this, function recording, call this blur, and I want the blur to happen in 1200 milliseconds, and this should happen when one of those buttons is, or when the play button is uh, clicked, and I finish this here. Now I remove this blur that was attached automatically to the play because it was selected. Remove the blur, go down on the functions list, and attach first uh, blur one to the play button. And 
select video stop and blur 2 attaches to it and it's ready so the video goes down panel goes blurry video stops panel goes, un goes unblurry thank you